What's up, YouTube? Murphy Farms Training here. This is Chris. Saw a post on a blog for reloaders. It was talking about how the 4570 he bought was so inaccurate and the loads he made were so horrible. And I just want to make a video about this because it's important to me. So on the left, I have some 45 caliber bullets. And on the right, I have some 45 caliber bullets. I'm going to flip these up. 45 caliber, 45 caliber, but there is a difference. These are 451 diameter, and these are 458 diameter. Now, let me go to my reloading manual and talk about two things, okay? So this particular guy said, hey, I've got a 45 automatic, 45 automatic. Here's a reloading drawing out of a Lyman manual, shows 452. And then down here, it says cast bullets were sized to 451 diameter, and the test barrel had a groove diameter of 450. So that's 45 ACP. Let's do a little more flipping here. 45 Colt, right? Groove diameter, 451. That's the 45 Colt. Let's do one more. The 454 Casal, right? 451, groove diameter, 451. These are 45 caliber pistols. This is a pistol bullet. 0 0.451 inch. This is a pistol bullet. Okay? Now... Let's flip to the good old 4570 government, and we see here, right, 0.458, groove diameter, 0.457. This is a 45 caliber rifle bullet. Now, do be careful, because the 450 Bushmaster actually has a groove diameter of 451, and it uses pistol bullets. So it's not a universal rule. But here's the deal, guys. You need to check your cartridge drawing. And you need to check your groove diameter. And you need to use the right bullet. Because this poor guy was talking about how his 4570 couldn't hit the broadside of a barn. And that's because he was sending 0 .451 inch projectiles down a 0 .458 inch barrel. Now what that means, folks, is his barrel most likely is not touching his bullet and if it is it is certainly not engraving any lands and grooves on it it's basically a smooth bore okay uh he's basically created a modern day musket a lever action musket for all intensive purposes okay so anyway that's the first thing i want to mention here is pistol 0.451 and again, the 450 Bushmaster does use this size bullet, and it is a rifle. And then the typical 45 cal rifle is .458. And .458 is going to be used in the 4570. It's also going to be used in the 458 SOCOM. So the 450 Bushmaster and the 458 SOCOM do use different bullets. Read your load data. Check your groove diameter. Now, I do want to mention one other thing, okay? Here is the 4570. And I want you to look at these velocities, okay? 1290 up through about 1600 here, okay? And this is for, let's take a, well, let's let's take, a, let's pick one that I know we'll find. Let's pick around 400 grains. So it's going to push a 400 grain bullet in that 1300 ballpark, okay? Now, I'm going to flip a few pages, and I'm going to go to the... 458 Win Mag. The 458 Win Mag. And there's a 405 grain bullet, and it's pushing it 2,000 feet per second. Okay? You follow me here? So, what's the difference? Big difference. Okay? Let's take another set of uh, numbers here. Let's take the 45 Colt. 250 grain jacket at hollow point. Look at these velocities. Look at these velocities. Now let's take the 454 Casol and let's find 
250 grain jacket at hollow point. Let's look at these velocities. When you are purchasing bullets, for an example, and I'll use these, these Hornady 458 rifle bullets, if you go to Hornady's website, you look at the specifications, these are designed for the 4570. That means they're designed to be driven at 4570 velocities. If you push these to 458 wind mag, or God forbid 460 um, Weatherby Magnum, 460 Weatherby Magnum velocities, this bullet is going to come apart like a grenade when it hits something. It's not going to penetrate. It's not going to do well. Okay. Similarly, if you buy a Hornady XTP that's designed for, let's say, the 45 Colt or the 45 ACP, and you drive it at, oh, I don't know, 460 Smith & Wesson velocities, this bullet's going to come apart and have absolutely no penetration. It's just going to explode like a varmint grenade. So anyway, um, search up your bullets, guys. Make sure that your bullets are for what you're loading for, and make sure you're using the correct diameter bullet for the case and projectile you're loading. So anyway, I hope that helps someone. Please don't load 451 bullets in a 4570. And please, please, please don't load 458 bullets in a 454 Casal because those won't fit down the barrel and you will blow your gun up. So anyway, hope this helps someone. Appreciate the support, guys.